Welcome back everybody. So uh, this video is going to be uh, kind of weird because you're going to see a little bit of a glare off the screen and you're going to hear kind of an echo in the background. Something's wrong with my media files on these particular files of this video. So what I had to do is record it off the screen of my computer in order to post the video. Otherwise it wouldn't, the video wouldn't optimize or download. So that's why it's going to be weird. Uh, I just wanted to let everybody know, you know, it's not going to be the 4K quality that you're used to and you're going to, it's just going to be kind of odd, but anyways, you're still going to see a woodchuck die and that's the important part. So I just wanted to inform all you guys, it's just this video, the files got messed up somehow. I'm still going to show it to you. Thanks for watching everybody. Welcome back everybody. So, just got back to the house with some lumber for a bridge I'm building down in Cherry Ridge and uh, pulled in and there's a woodchuck out here in the field right here next to the barn. It's only going to be like a 140 yard shot, but I got the 300 wind mag set up and we're going to sit down here and send 168 grains here a match tip his way, see if we can't take him out. If I don't take him out, something's wrong. Okay, everybody, that's a wrap on that one. Hopefully, he's just inside the wood line there, very dead. That little bugger, I was uh, just waiting for him. I wanted him to stand up, and I wanted to, I wanted a headshot on him. I wanted him to stand straight up, and I wanted to take the top of his head off. So I was waiting and waiting and waiting for him to stand back up and give me an opportunity standing. And the little bugger took off running. And then he stood inside the wood line, and I thought, well... I'm not going to let the little shit get away, so I took him out inside the woods, I think. Let's go, uh, let's go take a look. Obviously, uh, my gun zeroed at 100. That shot was only 160 or so, so I didn't, I didn't adjust at all. The only thing I adjusted was my yardage to 150 here. So let's go over there and check it out.
sucker almost got away from us. But almost don't count when you're launching 300 wind mag rounds at them. That's a fat bugger too. Right here's the Audi right at the base of the neck. Boy, that's a big chuck for uh, first thing this spring. It's got a good looking coat on it too for being in the springtime like this. There's a better shot of the Audi. It is a female. I'm gonna venture to say she's full of, full of little baby woodchucks. It's half the reason she's so big. Very dead one. You know, how dare a woodchuck think it's gonna live right behind my place like that and think it's gonna get away with it. That is number, I don't even know what that is. I think that's number, number eight or nine or 10. I don't know, to be honest. What I do know is it's a very dead chuck, thanks to the 300 wind mag. I want to uh, thank all the patrons of the channel. It's because of you guys that I could post videos like this. YouTube's obviously not a fan of KEO vlogs because of content just like this. And uh, I appreciate all you guys that, you know, donate a $3 a month to be able uh, for me to post these videos and not worry about YouTube's restrictions. So appreciate it, everybody. I'm going to keep whacking woodchucks, and we got uh, another shed hunting video coming shortly. Turkey hunting coming soon. All kinds of good stuff happening as long as everybody's still going to be alive to watch it with this coronavirus stuff. Thanks, everybody. Hope uh, you and your family are staying safe out there. Uh, I'd recommend getting out and looking for sheds or going woodchuck hunting by yourself. Stay away from everybody.